tomorrow is Sunday, and I want everybody dressed appropriately so we can pay our respects to the one thing that helps us make sense of this world and gives us the strength to make it through another week. Amen. We're going to church. Come on, Harris, on a Sunday, we're watching the Bears-Packers game. <laughs> Were you ever a big Bears fan? I mean, oh, of course. I, you were? Oh, of course, yes, I still am. So um, that was uh, fun to play, and I hope Chicago fans feel like we did them proud. I know Chicago loves its Bears, but did you know the Packers are actually owned by the people of Wisconsin? That's not football, son, that's communism. <laughs> Sarah, how did you know this was going to work? I didn't know it was going to work. I guess I told Lori it was going to work in order to get her. She <laughs> told me, so I signed the contract. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think we were all scared. Yeah. You know, I felt like it could just because I knew people loved these characters, and I felt like we had something to say still. And the fact that the family would be going through a big loss seemed relevant and something people can relate to. Metcalf has two Tony Awards and is heading back to Broadway to star in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. It all started here in Chicago. They're so great and so supportive and way back in the day so forgiving of us when we were struggling along and in a basement of a church and not knowing what the hell we were doing and, and some of those people are still with us and I don't know, I, I um, hope to come back as soon as I can for that reason. I'm like having fantasies of going and doing a Steppenwolf play with you. Oh! I'm like, could we do that? Tracy Letts, Tracy yeah. Letts, could you write something real quick? Janet Davies, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.